hello everyone welcome back so i know i'm late to the monthly budget for june but i just it just took me a while to get everything together i had everything separate in regards to like uh, my income tracker my budget my due dates i had some things on google i had some things on a planner and i just wanted something very very simple that i can go to that i had everything together so i put this um i got this binder from amazon and it looks just like my cash envelope so that's another thing that i really loved um the dividers are basically the same i haven't put the labels on there only because i don't like how the cash ones look so i'm just kind of rethinking of how to do this so here i have most of my credit cards and i say most because um um i do have more a little bit embarrassing but um i wanted to keep them here so that i can think twice before getting it so it won't be in my bag easy to go to easy to grab and um, i just really really don't want you to use them anymore and i want to lower or actually get rid of my debt but i'll talk about that in my, my debt snowball video if you're interested in that and how much i owe and how much i'm getting in payments and things like that so just uh if you want a quick overview of my budget planner uh, the first one, this is my monthly, this is my due dates for all of my payments that I make um, for my credit cards, my loan, my car, my insurance, you know, I just, I just really like to, you know, have a quick view of what I'm going to pay for this week. But I actually make all of my payments the first of the month and except for my car and my insurance that just comes out automatically. But I like to um, have control of those payments. So that's why I do this and this is a monthly budget that i did um i did it on my own i just wanted something very specific and all of the ones that i saw online just didn't have everything that i wanted in there so i made this for me um and this is my income tracker and i want to talk about this in another video because it's a whole story about that as well but this is what it looks like and this is my debt snowball so this one i actually have it in excel but i thought it would be fun to print it out and have it here and just fill it out each month so i have um my top or sorry my least um owed credit cards my four credit cards i mean some of them aren't that low as you can see so i'll be working on that and then last but not least um because i'm getting a house in a couple of months i need to raise it back up i used my credit uh, a heavy amount of credit within these past couple of months and i need to bring it uh the debt back down so i want to see um how my credit score goes back up so um yeah so this is my full budget planner so let's get started on the actual monthly budget Okay, so disclaimer, um, I do have horrible handwriting. That's why I did all of this. Like I pre, you know, wrote it out only so I wouldn't have to write it out. So my handwriting is horrible, but my numbers aren't that bad. Um, and yeah, I, I am left-handed and I do write a little crooked. So I hope y'all can forgive me about that. So, okay, so this is gonna be for June. and um my rent is 500 so i do live with my family this is the payment that i give per month and that includes all of the utilities as well um as you know i am going to buy my own house so this is going to change so that's why i wanted to have these here just to for myself to keep in mind that they are coming they are going to exist for me um and um i'm pretty excited for that as well but this is definitely just for me just so i can be self-conscious about it obviously i don't do repairs or maintenance i do buy cleaning supplies for um my house so cleaning supplies and toiletries um you know so we i just do it once in a while so um but for this month i think we're good you know in regards to being in stock so all of these obviously are going to be zero except my phone i do pay my phone and it recently went up to 131 i have t-mobile so I don't know why the price went up. So uh, I need to check on that. It went up like $7, something like that. So uh, obviously internet cable goes into that. And so my total is 131. And for here, it's gonna be 100, right? So groceries, I do buy about $100 every other week. And that's for me and my other family. And my other family, all, I mean, they also buy groceries as well. So 
since there's um, a lot of people in this house, we obviously need to constantly be buying groceries. But that's how much I spend. And, um, you know, it's not that bad. So for last month and this month, I have not been eating out and drinking coffee. And believe it or not, eating out wasn't even my problem. It was coffee. I was the person that was getting Starbucks every single day. But I am on a healthy journey. So um, I decided to cut this out. And I have made it. I have not eaten out or drank coffee since last month. So, um... I'm pretty excited about that. I hope that I can keep going and not just have a horrible day and, you know, go and get myself a venti because that's what I drank, by the way, a venti every single day. So, um, my total for this is 200 So, my car payment is 407 My insurance is 150 uh, I do need to uh, pay for maintenance this month because I need to get an oil change. Um, no, not sorry, not an oil change. I need to go get an inspection and my sticker. So I think it's like $7,200. So I, I just got, I can't remember. So I'll just, you know, change it whenever I do my update. So for my gas, I usually, um, it was usually about $90. I have to, to put the premium. But gas has been really cheap lately, so, um, you know, that's awesome. So it's been about $70, $60, depending on how much I drive. Sometimes I drive for my job, sometimes I don't. So um, I'm just going to keep it at 70 and uh, see how, how much I do. Um, so entertainment, um, um, obviously, we're still under lockdown, right? So there's really not anything that I've been going out to do. So I'm just going to keep this at zero. Clothes and shoes, I am on a ban, just like eating out and coffee. I have a lot of clothes and shoes that I actually want to sell, and that'll be in my um, side income, by the way, um, and for Poshmark. So yeah, I'm not going to be buying clothes and shoes anytime soon. I don't need it, and obviously I want it, but that's just not a necessity. Um, beauty, <clears throat> I did want to spend on beauty this month and getting a refill and my eyelashes. But that is something that I want to uh, wean off of because I didn't do it for a really long time. And then once you do it, you really like it. You get addicted to it. But it is a really uh, large amount of money. So I do want to stop that. Um, but obviously not this month, right? So um, toiletries, I'm really stocked up on my restroom and I have bought, you know, toiletries that I buy a lot of shampoo, conditioner, you know, body wash, toothpaste, things like that. So I am really good on that. Probably about, not even, no, probably next month, the end of next month, I'll probably need to buy it. So I'll be checking in on that. And I do, um, I put $300 towards my envelope. So I'll be filming my Cash something envelopes if you're interested in watching that late I'll, I'll be uploading that later on this week so my credit cards the minimum payment in total of all my cards is 315 so oh my god that's horrible so that's the minimum payment but obviously I pay more than that so um, but that's like I have to make those payments right I don't have to pay more if I'm looking at a bad month or a bad week or whatever but that's the payment that you have to make um, I do have a loan which is $600. Um, it is a hefty loan, so I'll talk about that. And my snowball for this month, I did do $1,200. And the reason it's really high is because um, I want to get my credit score back up. The only reason why my credit score dipped is because, I, like I said, I used my credit card. So my credit usage went up. So I want to bring it back down. So it's usually, I mean, normally it's not that high, that amount. So, but it did go up. and okay so my apple i have the apple storage and the apple music so that in total is 13.80 and my hulu is 12.98 and my amazon is 14.06 so i don't have my fico right now but i i had it whenever i was uh, about to close on my house and all of that then i canceled it because it was like 30 35 dollars i thought it was a hefty amount so um once i start house shopping again i will get it back so but for now it's gonna be zero so let me add these up okay so let me do this it's gonna be 500 plus 131 plus 200 plus 697 plus 400 plus 2000 115 and 40 84 so that's 4,000 
83 and 84. So my income, um, I do get paid every Friday, and um, so my income, I calculate sometimes there's four Fridays in the month, sometimes there's five, so for June there was four. So I take home 1046, and times four, it's 4,184. So obviously this is gonna be for the end of the month. I know it's not that much of a difference, so 41.84 minus 48.3. So it's a hundred dollar difference. And I know what you're thinking: How are you going to buy your house with that amount of difference? So I actually have a mock-up of um, something that I did, so you can see. So this I'm planning to have it in October, God willing. And um, so my last house. My payment was going to be almost 1700 so I rounded it up, and I'm looking in the same price range. So keeping it here and not counting for, this is just for the basics, so you can just have an idea. Uh, not repairs, maintenance, anything, anything like that. So it is going to be brand new, by the way. I am going to have a brand new home, and not to be fancy or anything, but because I am a single girl, and I don't want to worry about that plumbing or sewer or anything, you know, bad like that. I just don't want to worry about it. So with the new home, everything comes with warranty, and that's going to take a whole load off my back, and I'm going to be very happy in regards to not having those problems. So the utility bills, um, I um, asked friends and family members how much they paid and I just kind of did a rough estimate on all of these bills. So electricity, gas, water, obviously my phone, um, internet, cable, and alarm. I will have an alarm system as well. And all of this is just an estimate. It can be higher, it can be lower, but I think it'll balance itself out. My groceries, I still want to do... Um, $200 it can be more it can be less but uh, obviously uh, obviously I'm gonna you know eat the same so I think it's gonna stay the same so my car payment that is actually gonna go down so I do drive a BMW it's not new it's about five years old but it's still a little bit high in regards to the monthly payment and then the insurance is high because um, I think is because of the type of car that it is and then the gas is a lot because I have to put premium so I am gonna downgrade to a Honda not even a brand new Honda, um, but just like something, I don't know, with like 10,000 miles on it. Uh, something that'll last me, but definitely going to be lower in all three. So I am, you know, planning on doing this, but I can't do this before buying a house. So I have to get my house first and then get a new car or, you know, um, trade in my car. So all of these, I'm planning on lowering them. So God willing on that. Um, toiletries, I'm thinking of just spending $30 a month. And my envelopes, I still want to put 100 towards them. My credit cards, they are going to be lower, but I'm just, you know, worst case scenario, this is my minimum payment amount. And my snowball, I always want to do a snowball. And this just is my minimum that I want to do in regards to each month. And then not even letting these go because this is just like, how I live my life I mean what can I tell you that's um, I don't go out clubbing or anything but I do love my streaming services so oh oh by the way so the loan is gonna cancel out so what happened here is that I had a business loan and my dad actually refinanced it for me because um, he wanted me to have a lower payment and he put it under his name so that's what I'm paying for right now but once I get my house my parents will move in with me and um, I am going to let them live there rent free. So that's my way of paying him back. And um, so I don't want uh, you to think that, you know, that loan is just going to disappear. And he's going to pay for it. Absolutely not. I mean, that's going to be my way of paying it back. And obviously a whole load off their shoulders because um, they don't have to worry about any of these bills and, you know, mortgage, anything like that. Um, I think the only thing they're going to worry about is buying their own groceries and that's it. But that is my way of paying him back plus more, you know. And um, But yeah, that's, that's uh, the reason that I have it. And if you want to know of what the business loan is for and what I'm doing, um, check in with the income tracker. I want to talk about that. That's like a whole video in itself. And I want to I want to show you what I do. I do I'm not just a project manager. I also uh, do something else, and I want to show you what it is, how much I made, what I got the loan for, and all of that. So if you're interested, go ahead.
so yeah this is my uh, monthly budget for the month of june i will be checking in hopefully uh, well i know that i've been really really good so i'm gonna stay on track and um again this is um this is gonna be for next month as well probably more probably like 1500 but as soon as i get that jump in my credit score it's gonna go back down it's gonna be a little bit more um, normal and more towards my savings which is always my goal so thank you i hope you enjoyed and if you have any questions go ahead and put it down below and i will make sure to answer them as soon as i can thank you bye